this is Maureen Schickel. This tutorial will cover how to prepare files to 3D print multicolor and multi-material models using Materialize 3 Matic. These methods will allow you to prepare models to take advantage of the latest multicolor or multi-material 3D printing technologies. In this tutorial, we will cover two methods of preparing files. The multicolor method would be applicable when using an opaque multicolor material. In this method, we will prepare a single model file with various colors assigned to the surfaces. This file can be exported using a multicolor file format like 3MF or OBJ, transferring the color assignments directly to the build preparation step. The multi-material method is applicable when using a combination of opaque, transparent, and or flexible materials. In this method, we will prepare a model file for each material that will be used in the final model. These files can be exported individually as STL files and the specific materials will be assigned during the build preparation step. First, let's take a look at the multicolor method. Here, I've already segmented an aortic root, including the vessel wall and calcifications as separate models. In this case, the multicolor method, we will want to combine these together into a single model file. We will use the Boolean Union tool, select both parts, and apply. The resulting model will contain multiple surfaces, which each can have a separate surface color assigned. To assign surface color, select a surface, go to the surface properties, turn off use part color, and select the surface color you would like to use. In this case, pink for the vessel wall makes sense. So I will simply change the color for the calcification surface. Once we have all of our colors assigned, we can choose an export option, which contains color information. 3MF and OBJ are two common file formats. Next, let's take a look at the multi-material method. Going back to our original parts, we need to create separate files for each material being printed. In this case, the vessel wall and the calcification should be printed in different materials. But right now, they intersect, which could cause confusion during the printing process. It is best to prevent or remove any intersections before sending files to print. In this case, we will use a Boolean subtraction to subtract the calcification from the vessel wall. In this case, the vessel wall will be the entity the calcification will be the subtraction entity. We click apply and we will end up with a new vessel wall model which does not have the area where the calcifications are located. Once we have ensured that there are no intersections, the final models including the vessel wall subtracted and calcification can be exported as STL files and taken to a build processor. In summary, we have shown two model preparation methods. The first, the multicolor method, allows us to create a single model file when printing opaque multicolor materials. The second method, where we create multiple STL files, allows us to print in multiple materials, including transparent and flexible materials. Thanks for listening.